I've got myself one of the new Batman Class 24s and I thought with it being a new model and with a lot of people probably looking for sound and DCC for them I'd do a video about how to fit the sound and I'm going to look at upgrading the speaker as well. Um, one of the first things I've noticed about it is it's like some of the other Batman models where you see these screws and you think that they're going to be the ones to take the body off but they're actually deep inside the the bogey, so you'd need something like this screwdriver, uh, which is really fine and it's magnetic, so it just makes it a little bit easier to get the screws out. Uh, these are on the website, so if you're ordering any speakers or anything for them, um, it might be worth just getting yourself a, a screwdriver as well to make the job a little bit easier. But yeah, once, once you know they're there, it's actually quite easy to get the body off. So that's one end done. There's one underneath actually as well, just under the nose, um, which I guess just helps to hold it together and make sure there's no gap. So. And then once all six are out, you can lift the body off. I think it's just got a few clips as well. Okay. There we go. So to make it a bit easier to work with, I'm just going to take these out. So body's off. It's 21 pin, not plucks 22 like some of the recent models. Um, and then you've got a speaker built in already. So if you want to use the built-in speaker, I guess that's probably adequate for some people. To remove the circuit board, you've got another six screws which you need to take out. So you've got them here and here. Um, and that's so that you can get underneath to be able to remove the existing speaker. So I'm just going to take all those out. Right. Yeah, I'm going to go and just unsolder a couple of wires um, just to make sure that I can get this circuit board out of the way easy enough and I'll be back to show you how to get the speaker off then. Okay, so I've just desoldered some wires. Um, I've taken the white and yellow wires off that side and the blue wire off that side. It just means that the, the circuit board will lift up at one side. I actually noticed while I was doing that, that one of the wires is broken on this model. Um, it's one of the pickup wires, I think. Um, looks like when they've put it together at the factory, the wires have got in the way of the screw hole and they've just gone straight through it when they've put the body on. Uh, so that's a shame, but I'm just going to join it back together. But if you have a model that's not running properly, maybe just look and see if that's one of the issues. Um, also, be careful when you're putting it back together because it's obviously something that could get in the way. So you've got two screws under the circuit board which uh, they hold on the factory speaker. So you might want to just use the factory speaker, it's fine if you do and it'll save all this work but I want it to sound as good as possible so I'm going to take it off. I'm going to use the space for something a bit better. So that's off now. It's not soldered on. It just relies on contacts, like a sprung contact to those two pads. Um, and I'm going to look at probably putting one of these 20 by 20 megabits there. But I need to check that the body will go back on. Okay, so I'm back now. I've got the speaker soldered onto the two pads which were left over uh, from when I took the old one off. I've cut the speaker wires short so that I've not got loads of extra wire in there. Um, so I've cut them as short as I could really and just soldered them on. I'm just going to join it on to the top of the circuit board with a little bit of black tack. You don't need much, just a, a small amount. I normally try and make it into a little sort of donut shape just to to make sure that it covers a decent area under the speaker um, and then yeah just push it down firmly okay so now the speaker's in place and I just need to fit the sound decoder 
So I'm using a Lock Sound 5 and there's plenty of choice of sound files. Um, so you can have a look at the website to see what we offer. Um, but I think I'm gonna actually start with Jeremy Goodman's Class 25 sound file, because I like how that sounds in the Class 25 and I think it'll sound good in a 24 too. So that's what I'm gonna use first and I will do a video of it running at the end. But basically, I just need to go and fix my wire that's broken and put the body back on and then I'll do some shots of it running. If you like what you've seen, take a look at his website and you'll find the sound decoder as the speaker and the accessories like the screwdriver and the black tech as well. Hopefully it's been useful for people. I thought I'd just do a little extra bit just showing you how to get the screws back in because it's actually quite difficult to do. Um, so I just get one on the end of the screwdriver and then you've got to, you need quite good light so you can see and you've just got to feed it into the hole and then tighten it up. But yeah, otherwise you'd have to use like maybe tweezers or something if you didn't have a magnetic screwdriver. Um, but if not, yeah, you can just feed it in through the, the gap between the wheel and the bogey. So I've nearly got them all back in now. So yeah, hopefully it's been helpful. If you carry on watching, there's going to be some shots of it running now.